Hello friends, Sister Brianna here, and I'm excited to bring you this week's Sunday School lesson. Now, before we get started, let's take a moment to pray. Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for bringing us together once again. Lord, I ask that as we go through the lesson today, Lord, that you be with us, Lord. Be in our hearts, be in our minds, Lord, that anything that you would have for us to do and to remember, let it be done. In Jesus' name, amen. So, I know last week you talked a little bit about the death of Jesus and Jesus taking our place. So this week, I want to talk a little bit more about the death of Jesus, his burial, and then his resurrection. I know that when a loved one dies, it can often be a sad time. But my hope is that by the end of this lesson, you'll see the hope that we have in Jesus and in his resurrection. So, what does that word resurrection mean? I know you may have heard it before, but take a moment to think about what does resurrection mean? Or what does it mean to be resurrected? In the case of what we're going to talk about today, Jesus was resurrected, which means that he came back to life, body and all. So, let's first talk about what led up to Jesus' death. He was put on a cross, nails put in both of his hands, and also in his feet. He was then also poked in his side while he was up on the cross, and a crown of thorns on his head. Once he died, the earth trembled and shook and, cloud, and a dark cloud came over the earth. They then took him down and they wrapped him in cloths and put him in a tomb. Now this tomb was sealed, not with just like a little door that you could bash open. No, it was sealed with a giant stone that took multiple people to roll in and away. It's important to know that because when Jesus was raised from the dead, no one person could have moved the stone. Again, no one person could. But again, all things, all these miracles are happening because this is the plan that God had set forth for Jesus. So Mary, Mary Magdalene and other Mary, as we're going to read in Matthew, go to see where Jesus lay. And on their way there, this is what happened. So I'm going to be reading from Matthew 28, starting at verse 2. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. So when they looked inside of the tomb, there was nothing there, nothing but the cloths that Jesus was wrapped in. He was resurrected, raised from the dead. So... I want to take a moment also and head to our memory verse too. Hopefully you'll have a chance to read through this over the next week and remember it. So our memory verse is coming from Romans 8 and 11. And it says, If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. I want you to take a moment to think about that. The same Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from death after three days, not just one minute or an hour, Jesus had been laying there for three days and the Holy Spirit raised him up from death. That same Holy Spirit lives within us. So we have that hope in Jesus of a resurrection in the future. So death is not the final end-all be-all in Christ Jesus, which that in and of itself is a joy. Death is not the end-all be-all. 
just as Jesus rose from the dead, God has promised us many of things that will that will happen for us in life and then in death as well. So I hope that you all are doing well. I hope that you see the hope that is in Jesus, that we have in Jesus, that death is not the end. All right. I look forward to seeing you all and let's close out in prayer. Lord, we thank you. We thank you that our hope in you, Lord, does not end with death, Lord, that death is not the end for us. Lord, we ask that you give, keep giving us that reminder that that is not the end. Lord, we thank you for your Holy Spirit that lives in us, the same Holy Spirit that raised Jesus, Lord. You continue to live in us. We ask that you stay with us, Lord, throughout the week, throughout everything that we do, Lord, be in our hearts, be in our minds. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.